Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Today, we're going to take a look at 13.2 in Calculus 3. Uh, this is the fall semester of 2022 at College of the Sequoias. 13.2 is on lemons and continuity for multivariable functions. So recall from Calculus 1, uh, when we did the limit as x approached x naught for f of x l, or f of x equaling l, that was only true if and only if the limit as x approached x naught from the left existed, and the limit as x approached x naught from the right or positive side existed and were both equal to L. Uh, we only had two directions to approach x naught from, the left or the right. When we're looking at f, and x, f of x, y though, we've got a surface, which means there's a lot of paths we can choose from. And now we're going to a point x naught and y naught. So for the limit as x comma y approaching or going towards x of x naught y naught to exist for it to equal L at f of x y, it has to exist for all paths. And it must converge to the same limit for every single path that it, you can take. Uh, if, so if we can find two different limits at x naught y naught from taking different paths, then the limit doesn't exist. So we'll take a look at f of x, y equals x cubed y divided by the quantity uh, x to the six plus y squared. Does this limit exist at zero, zero? We can do go along the y-axis where x equals zero. If we plug in x equals zero, we've got zero over y squared, so it's already zero. Uh, along the x-axis, y equals zero, we could plug in y equals zero, and we've got zero over x to the six, and that's zero also. What if we take a look at y equals x? Uh, we'll parameterize with t. So x equals t, and since y equals x, y equals t. And then we'll do the limit as t goes to zero of f of t and t. And we get t to the fourth over t to the sixth plus t squared. Uh, we can see that that goes to zero also. Uh, but what if we follow a, a weird path like y equals x cubed? The limit as t goes to zero we, if we set x to equal to t, then y equals t cubed, uh, we end up getting t to the sixth on top and two t to the sixth on bottom, which simplifies to one half. Uh, we're getting different limits. So even though, even though all the straight line paths y or along the y-axis, along the x-axis, along y equals x, those straight line paths all yielded the same result. When we took a curvy nature like y equals x cubed, uh, we got a different limit, so the limit does not exist. Uh, so as you can imagine, doing something like this, just like you can't, the only way you're going to know if a limit exists is to find what, like, we can't do it like this. We can only, following this method, we can only prove it doesn't exist if we find two that don't match. But you could try hundreds of different lines, parameterizations, and never find one that's different, although, and it still might not exist. Uh, so this picking of paths isn't reliable. Uh, we are going to do something called delta epsilon proofs next to show you how it works. And then we'll uh, go on from there. That's it for this video. Peace.